Welcome back to the Top 101 Theological Questions According to Google, where we take each inquiry and attempt to give you an answer in just under two minutes. Today's question is one that is Googled every day by 5.6 million people, and it involves 40.6 million, yes I said million, victims worldwide. What does God say about human trafficking? Human trafficking. Just saying those two words in the same phrase make me sick to our stomach. And I can assure you that our Savior is also upset. Because there are three truths revealed in the Bible that make it quite clear how God looks at this issue. First, Genesis 127 makes it clear that all people are created in the image of God. And as such, we are all worthy of freedom, dignity, and justice. Second, in Proverbs 14, verses 21 and 31, the Bible makes it clear that to oppress the poor or the weak is to insult God Himself. And then finally, in Matthew 18, 6, Jesus Christ Himself demands strict punishment for those who mistreat the vulnerable. So why do I bring this up today? Why ask a question this depressing on the show? Because there are 40.6 million women, men, and children who are exploited and enslaved with no way out unless you and I do what the Creator told us to do. We must speak up for them and seek justice for them, just as Psalm chapter 82 verses 3 and 4 tell us to do. Give justice to the poor and the orphan. Uphold the rights of the oppressed and destitute. Rescue the poor and the helpless. Deliver them from the grasp of evil people. Thank you for joining us today. Please take a look at the links in the description below to get more information on human trafficking and how you can help. Also, if you already know the signs that somebody might be being trafficked and you even suspect that it might be taking place, Here's a number you can call or a text message line that you can send an SMS to. Please, don't hesitate. Speak up for these victims and do what God would have you to do today. Also, if there's anything you would like to add, please put that in the comments below. If there are any ways at all that we can help, anything that you know that is not listed, please put it there. Finally, please join us again next Thursday at 2 p.m. for another episode of 101 Theological Questions According to Google. Have a good evening.